Sydney Sweeney has shot from background character to household name in the last few years. Her portrayal of the weak-willed Cassie Howard and her downward spiral in Euphoria Season 2 made all her scenes in the show go viral minutes after they premiered. Off camera, however, she regularly racks up millions of likes on Instagram for her fashion choices, especially that 90s fever dream. First up, Euphoria wins big. Ahead of the MTV Movie and TV Awards, everyone had their money on Euphoria as the big winner of the night. The show was nominated in four categories, even twice in one category, and fans considered it a shoe-in for all of them. HBO's show is only second to Game of Thrones, and its raw, jagged, and almost unrealistic portrayal of teenagers in a suburban town has made for crazy streaming hours. It spawned hundreds of TikTok trends, social media controversy, and even its very own signature makeup look that's been recreated by millions. It made superstars of its relatively new and young cast, including Sydney Sweeney, Alexa Demi, Barbie Ferreira, Hunter Schaefer, Maude Apatow, and so on. The coveted Best Show Award had all the biggest shows of the year competing. Some of the series fighting Euphoria was Inventing Anna, Loki, and Squid Game, all of which pulled insane numbers of their own and went viral just like Euphoria did. Despite it all, HBO's claim to fame took home the prize, and nobody was really shocked about it. Zendaya and Sydney Sweeney went head-to-head -head for the Best Performance in a Show Award for their respective Euphoria characters, and Zendaya emerged victorious for her portrayal of Rue Bennett, the show's protagonist and unreliable narrator. It makes sense that the only thing that can beat Euphoria is, well, Euphoria. Euphoria and its risque plotlines also won the Here for the Hookup Award, but the most debated moment of the night came when the Best Fight Award was announced. The competition was tough. Black Widow, Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings, and last year's hit, Spider-Man No Way Home, gave Marvel a fighting chance, but ultimately the award went to the actual most iconic fight of the year, Maddie versus Cassie in the season finale of Euphoria. Move over, expert stuntmen and CGI, you're no match for two teenagers clawing at each other in the school hallways. Next, Sydney stuns everyone. Undoubtedly, the most photographed and reposted outfit of the night was Sydney Sweeney's. All of us have seen it, and in the middle of a Y2K revival among the Gen Z TikTok crowd, Sydney's fit embody the vibe of thousands of Pinterest boards. She stepped onto the red carpet in Santa Monica ahead of the awards show looking like she was joining Paris Hilton in 2005 for the after party, and the internet is eating it up. Sydney collaborated with her stylist, Molly Dixon, for the night, who made the right call by decking her out in custom Miu Miu. She rocked a teeny tiny pink miniskirt covered with hundreds of glittering pink crystals, as if Sydney wasn't the center of attention on her own. The skirt took notes for the ultimate 2000s party girl, Paris Hilton, who wisely said that skirts should be the size of a belt. The brand's creative director, Mucha Prada herself, added a black double-belted detail and a thigh-bearing slit above the leg to the skirt, which lie low on Sydney's hips, bearing her toned midriff. Up top, she rocked a super cropped pastel pink sheer collared shirt, the plunging neckline showing a hint of even more crystals underneath. The dazzling look was completed by a pair of silver sky-high platforms, adding even even more sparkle to the look. The look was completed with her signature softly tousled blonde locks. This isn't the first time we've seen Sydney in Miu Miu. The actress has worn the brand before at the Vanity Fair Oscars after party, the Euphoria LA premiere, and the Independent Spirit Awards. This is because she's now the face of the brand, specifically the new leather Miu Wonder bag. It's not her first time fronting a fashion campaign. She's also worked with brands like Guess and Tory Burch. Sydney went on stage to accept the best show award on behalf of the Euphoria cast, looking every bit the 2000s party girl updated for the 2020s, and as she lifted the glittering gold popcorn-shaped trophy, something else took center stage. Her insane manicure. Her nails were a cotton candy pink, holographic, chrome moment that reflected the light of every crystal on her skirt. Adding to her stunning look, we can't stop staring at the pictures either. The outfit was also definitely Cassie Howard approached. The character's signature style has included cropped tops and tanks in soft pastel colors and super girly silhouettes. And even when she took notes from Maddie and ditched her wardrobe in favor of figure-hugging two-piece sets and dramatic eyeliner, her personal color palette still shone through. This look is one we can see Cassie reaching out after that 4 a.m. morning routine. And now, the internet isn't happy. Despite Sydney rocking a look that went viral in minutes, with women everywhere trying to recreate it, some people on the internet are not happy. The outfit was 
was obviously 2000s inspired, and Y2K fashion catered to a specific body type. Low slung jeans and ab bearing baby tees were mostly worn by slender girls with flat stomachs, and this has the internet going crazy. Commenters on her posts have said that the kind of outfit she's wearing is one they'd rather leave in the past, claiming that only women with Sydney's body can wear clothes like that and it doesn't fit body positivity norms. They believe the outfit has less to do with her style and more to do with body and beauty standards that have been harmful in the past. Many people believe the body type is unachievable, and after Mew Mew brought back the micro mini skirt on its runways, body positivity advocates felt it glorified a certain body type and was exclusively made for it. In typical trend cycling fashion, it was expected that after the flared pants and tiny glasses of the 70s, the bold colors of the 80s, and the high-waisted jeans of the 90s, 2000s fashion would have its moment in the spotlight too. However, the style at that time was not very inclusive, and this has people upset as it coincided with a rise in eating disorders and diet culture. While Sydney looked absolutely gorgeous, it makes sense that a bigger conversation around harmful fashion trends is bound to happen sooner or later. Next, in other related news, we have Sydney's legal troubles. While she might be at a career peak right now, Sydney's actually been sued by a swimwear brand for backing out of their agreement. The brand LA Collective claims she was on board to promote their new collection, Somewhere Swimwear, last year, and was heavily involved in product development and branding. However, the brand accused Sydney and her team of backing out of the deal. How could it possibly get worse? It did, because the brand also accused Sydney of taking their designs and wearing them on about five episodes of Euphoria. And as she's not under contract with them, they can't really make any money off the advertisement. LA Collective estimated that they get around $3 million in sales from the collaboration and have sued her for damages. Makes sense, your designs are worn on one of the biggest TV shows ever, but neither Sydney nor her team publicly responded to the claims. And now, Spider-Man loves Euphoria 2. While Euphoria and Spider-Man both competed with each other at the MTV Awards, the actors love each other off camera. The movie and TV show, both huge commercial successes, are united by Zendaya, who played the protagonist Rue in Euphoria and the iconic love interest to Tom Holland's Peter Parker, MJ. Zendaya and Andrew Garfield first crossed paths as his Peter Parker ended up in the same universe as her MJ, where in an especially emotional scene, he saved her when she fell. Real Spider-Man fans know what we're talking about. We're still not over that scene. No wonder Peter broke down crying. We did too. The two recently sat down for an interview together where Andrew praised Zendaya for her performance as Rue. He called it one of the most remarkable things he's ever seen an actor do. In typical heart-stealing Andrew fashion, he complimented her acting, saying it was authentic and even called the film the show is shot on beautiful. The two even discussed the memes that dropped every Euphoria Sunday and traded memories from the No Way Home set. Andrew can now be seen in Under the Banner of Heaven, and if you don't trust our judgment, trust Zendaya's. This is definitely one worth watching. Finally, the younger Howard has her own plans. Maude Apatow wasn't much more than background noise in Euphoria Season 1. Her character, Lexi, Cassie's younger sister, was mostly there as a support system for Rue, whether it was emotional support or fake samples for drug tests. In Season 2, she took on a much bigger role, starting with her flirtationship with Fezco and ending in a play she wrote, produced, and starred in where she basically aired out her friends and family's drama. Maude comes from famous parents too. Her dad is Judd Apatow, the comedy writer responsible for This Is 40, Knocked Up, and The 40-Year-Old Virgin. And her mom is Hollywood veteran Leslie Mann. Looks like Maude's taking cues from her dad and Lexi because she's writing a project about her own life. She's a Broadway fanatic, quoting iconic shows like Cabaret, and she hopes to see her own work on the New York City stages one day. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.